Earth. For all of human existence, we have called this rock home. And at one time, we even thought that it was the center of the universe. But reality, being the disappointing thing that it is, hit us over time. And with all the new advancements we made in science and technology, we soon discovered that Earth is just one of the eight planets orbiting the sun in our solar system. Eventually, we begin to discover other solar systems, some with suns smaller, as big, or even bigger than ours, with their own planets orbiting them, which we have come to call exoplanets. Some of these exoplanets are pretty interesting from the looks of it, and even share some features with Earth. So in this video, we are going to be exploring a list of three of the most intriguing exoplanets. We start off this list with Proxima Centauri b, which was discovered on August 24, 2016. Located nearly 4.24 light years away, or so far away that it takes light 4.24 years to go from Earth to Proxima b, this likely rocky planet with a mass of about 1.3 times that of Earth is the closest exoplanet to us. Proxima b orbits its host star in the habitable zone, where it's not too close to where its surface is burnt, or not so far to where its surface is freezing, thus potentially allowing for the existence of liquid water. Also, it's likely tidally locked, meaning the same side of the planet continues to face the star throughout the duration of its orbit, which translates to one side of the planet being as hot as a desert, and the other side of the planet being cold. Because of the planet's very close orbit around its host star, its atmosphere may have been eroded away by heavy UV radiation. But if there is an atmosphere, then surface temperatures can be around 86 degrees Fahrenheit, although further research is required on this planet's atmospheric contents. Anyways, while scientists are busy learning about the atmosphere of Proxima b, let's venture out a little further into our cosmic neighborhood where we come to our next planet, Kepler 22b, which was discovered on December 5th, 2011. Orbiting a host star similar in size and temperature to our sun in the habitable zone about 600 light years from us, and standing at 2.4 times the mass of Earth, Kepler 22b is quite a beauty to look at. It's unclear as of now what the surface of 22b is like. It's possible that the entire surface could be covered in water, or it could be a gas planet altogether. Additionally, it's highly likely for there to be clouds in the atmosphere. Surface temperatures on the planet hover around 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which is definitely possible for liquid water to exist in. Moreover, a year on 22b is about 290 days, because that's how long it takes to orbit its star, which is honestly not that far behind from our 365-day orbit here on Earth. Hmm, things seem to be a little boring here though. Let's turn up the heat with our next planet. Discovered 40 light years away in the Cancer constellation on August 30th, 2004, 55 Cancri E is literally a hot mess about twice the size of Earth. Its close proximity to its sun-like host star results in surface temperatures around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, so life existing here is definitely out of the question. The close orbit to its star likely means this planet is tidally locked like Proxima b, though the cooler side would still be at least 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit in this case. Researchers say there could be an atmosphere thicker than ours, but with a similar composition of nitrogen, water, and oxygen. The crown jewel, however, is that the interior is rich in iron, silicate, and most importantly, carbon. And due to the extreme interior heat and pressure, it's likely that the carbon is in the form of very large diamonds. In fact, because of its diamond interior, this planet is estimated to be worth about $26.9 non-million dollars. So, who cares about life on other planets when we could strike it rich with this one? I'm just kidding, of course. It's gonna take decades or potentially centuries before we develop the space technology needed to visit and mine from these planets. And we might get bored while waiting for it to happen. So why don't we just keep exploring more planets and places in the universe here on the Science First? In fact, if there was any planet on this list you want to learn more about, or a planet you thought should have been on the list, let me know in the comments below and I'll take a look. In the meantime, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to stay tuned for more science videos.